Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm getting that there's a masculine in your energy field who can kind of pick up on the fact that they're being restricted from you. And they don't really understand why this is happening, but they respect it, okay? This masculine is coming through as someone who has a very mellow type of disposition. So you may describe them as someone who is super laid back, okay? They're not the type of person that believes in rushing in any way. This is someone who really prefers to take their time to get to know you. So there may be this deep desire that you both feel where you kind of want to reach out to one another, but deep down, you feel like this is out of your hands, okay? Your connection is definitely under divine guidance. And when this happens, it means that there's a higher power over your connection. It also means that things may feel very, very stagnant at this time. So in some way, this masculine has already accepted that the only way you're gonna appear in their lives again is by way of some type of universal alignment. And they know this because every time they try to contact you or connect with you, something stops them or something just feels really off with their timing. There could also be a lot of cancellations, okay, when you try to connect with one another, but there's definitely this kind of mismatch of your energies at this time, okay? Something seems to be preventing you from moving forward. And it's one of those things where your person is beginning to feel like the more they try to kind of push against this, the more things seem to lag or just remain unaligned for the both of you, okay? There's a very physical energy coming through here. So this is definitely someone that you've spent some time with in the recent past. And for some reason, things just naturally begin to fall out of alignment. Normally, these types of delays would make your person feel a little impulsive, okay? Maybe even worried. But I'm picking up on this masculine energy and they don't feel that way at all, okay? There is definitely a certain ease or even like this feeling of surrender, even in the midst of all this uncertainty, okay? It's almost as if they have like this really deep understanding of why things are moving at a slower pace or why their access to you has changed in some way. So instead of your person being confused or worried about the delays in your connection, it's only making them curious. So this masculine is someone who, like I said, they're very, very laid back. They may be very chill, very understanding, but underneath that, there's like this underlying energy of them really understanding that everything happens for a reason. So they can't help but feel like God is trying to tell them something about you or this connection. And it's almost as if they're trying to figure out what the reason is for all of these delays, okay? But they definitely view you as someone that they have really great chemistry with. But at the same time, they're still trying to fill you out, Divine Feminine. Because, yeah, their energy is coming through as if they're not in a rush at all. So if you're wondering why things are slowly shifting in your connection, this is why. Your connection is definitely under some type of divine guidance, which means that the connection you're in is extremely intentional. And whatever's taking place is definitely taking place on a higher level. But it can't be rushed or controlled in any way by you or by this masculine that you are connected to. Okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message that we have here is sacred exchange. Divine Feminine, I feel your energy coming through with this card here, okay? Wow. Okay, this this is very, this may be very, very specific, okay? Because the details that I'm getting with this are insane. But Divine Feminine, from the outside looking in, you appear to be living a very, very normal life, okay? But there's something that you're experiencing that you can't really express. You've been having this gut feeling 
that this masculine that you're connected to is not normal, not a normal masculine energy in any way. And you feel like this because there's something that you experience with them that you can't really compare to anything or anyone else. I mean, this was a completely isolated experience and you deem this to be something sacred. And ever since you had that exchange, you have felt energetically bonded to this masculine's energy. And it's almost as if their energy has been playing in the background of your life. And I'm getting that to you, this has become a very normal thing. So although this masculine is at a distance from you, their energy is very much so present in your life. I'm also getting that because of the nature of this connection, this is not something that you're very open with, okay? In fact, it's something that you may have never even expressed to anyone around you, okay? Because of how it may look to other people who really don't understand this connection or what it is that you're experiencing. But you feel connected to this masculine in a way that you can't really explain. And you've been just quietly living this way. For some of you, you may even be at a place in your life where you're exploring your options, but somehow their energy still remains, okay? And this is a masculine energy that is highly spiritual. It's something that you can just feel in their aura. You may even view them as a little mysterious as well because there may be like a certain air about them that causes you to misunderstand them or the things that they do, especially when it comes to how they interact with you. But I'm getting something here specifically about connections and how your person views connections. So they're behaving in this way with you for a reason because this is an area of their lives that they don't really take lightly. So they're the type of person where it doesn't really take them a very long time to categorize people when they first meet them, okay? And this is all energy-based. So naturally, this masculine may behave in a way that is a little reserved if they don't feel like a person is significant to them in some way. And they have their own ways of figuring this out. They may be very, very calculated in this way as well. They also have this very, very smooth way of extracting information, Divine Feminine. So you may definitely feel like there's some kind of imbalance as it pertains to what they've shared with you versus what you've shared with them, okay? This may make you question them at times. Maybe you may question if you've said too much, if you've overshared with them in a way, but something about their energy is very powerful but also very calm, okay? And this definitely has you on edge at times. But somehow, even with them behaving in this way, um, where their energy may be read as kind of hot and cold, you still feel connected to them in a way that you may not be able to fully explain, but you definitely feel this in a very, very real way, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, I know the truth about you. Hmm. So if you're resonating with this message so far, this masculine that you're connected to knows way more about you than you realize, okay? And this explains why they have this kind of super chill, laid back demeanor and why they're also really unfazed about the way that your connection is unfolding, okay? I'm getting soul contract very, very clearly. So for as long as your masculine could remember, there's always been this kind of highlight on their connections. So this is an area of their lives that they don't ever question, okay? Even if they don't even fully understand what's happening on a higher level. This feels like it may be the only area of their lives that is intentional, okay? This is a masculine energy who has come in contact with many, many feminine souls on their journey. And looking back, they realize that they all served a purpose in their lives. They understand that most of these contracts were very focused on a particular lesson where 
the person was only here to kind of teach them something or to reveal something to them about themselves or the world. So this is the one area of their lives that they have been taught through trial and error to not really force in any way. And I'm getting that this was the approach they took with you as well, Divine Feminine. So when they were instructed to take a step back, they did. And even though they didn't agree with it, they did it knowing that the reason would soon be revealed to them. The way this energy is coming through, it's like they understood on some level that their life is set up by a very particular set of rules, okay? They have a clear understanding that if someone is not a significant part of their life or their story, it's because they're not supposed to be. So in a sense, this masculine has blinders on and they've lived their life this way for a very, very long time. But this changed when they met you, Divine Feminine. When they met you, I'm getting things definitely got complicated for them because they couldn't easily identify your energy. So this masculine held back a lot of information from you, okay? But you definitely could have felt like you were giving them a lot more information about you than they were giving you about themselves, okay? And this naturally created an imbalance because although they were trying to figure out who you were and where you came from and who sent you and why, <laughs> they were not being as forthcoming with you, okay? Because something was definitely pushing them to figure you out first. They may have even asked you a lot of questions just to see where your head was or to see if you were thinking the same way that they were or if you viewed this connection in the same way that they do. And you definitely picked up on this, Divine Feminine, and I feel like you begin to match their energy. You begin to match their effort. You begin to match the amount of information that, you know, they gave you. You literally became a mirror to what they were doing to you, okay? And this naturally caused things to slow down physically or in the 3D. But I'm getting that while you have been separated, things have been picking up in the 5D. And this is why you can feel their energy drawn close to you because they've literally been thinking of you nonstop, okay? This is way deeper than they thought. So where they stand right now, they realize that they are in fact in some kind of spiritual contract with you and that there is a higher power over your connection. And so the connection is definitely unfolding in a way that may be different for the both of you, but there's a higher purpose for this. And I feel like this is about to be revealed. But the masculine that you're connected to is only interested in you because they can feel that you are someone special to them. And this is all they wanted to be confirmed, okay? They were definitely seeking the truth about you, but not so much about who you were. This is more about your soul, okay? Um, in some kind of way. This is very, very deep kind of energy here. And this is also a very intentional type of masculine energy that I'm tapping into. This is someone who may be a little no-nonsense, okay? Um, and I'm also getting something about external energy. The way that you experience this masculine, divine feminine, is totally different from the way other people experience them. So even though you may feel like there could be an imbalance in the emotional expression or the exchange of information, what they were willing to give you or how they were willing to, you know, um, open up to you or express was way more open than they have ever been, okay? Because something about their energy comes through a little rigid, a little firm, or they may just be super, super laid back to the point where they're kind of hard to penetrate emotionally, okay? But the main thing they're realizing right now is that they couldn't control the pace in which everything that was revealed to them was supposed to be revealed. So I definitely feel like this is giving you a closer look at the alignments of souls, like that whole process and how you come to know each other over time, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, I can't even look at you. Okay, that's a change of pace. 
um, you would think that once they receive this huge confirmation about you, that they would be eager to kind of rush into you. But all of this information is actually making them pause. For some reason, they can't help but to feel like they were the last to know this, okay? They may even be questioning their higher power as it pertains to the order in which all of this played out. But I feel like this is highlighting the fact that this is such an authentic process. And this connection has a way of coming into your life and showing you things that you may have been overlooking in a major way. Because this masculine already had this view of connections and how they work, where they created this pattern where they would kind of approach every single feminine in the same way. So when this connection with you began to phase out, they didn't question it and they really, really regret that. And now they know that their next step is facing you in some kind of way. And because your masculine has a deeper understanding of how these things work, they just know that the universe is going to miraculously place you on their path somehow, some way, okay? And they know that when this happens, it's going to be intense because of the choices that they made in the past and how you may be currently viewing them or even viewing the connection, okay? So right now, they're really under the pressure of being in alignment with you again really going through all of those emotions wondering how they're going to feel when they're on the other sitting on the other side of you or looking into your eyes all of that the details of that is kind of making them pause okay but what's also sticking out here is that they know that they're not in control and it's like they can feel the momentum building in the back of your connection they know on a deeper level that there are lessons attached to this connection with you but they also feel a little apprehensive about the physical aspect of it because now they're not only viewing you as divine feminine the person you know the person that they align with the person that they're interested in they're looking at you as a soul that is powerful enough to make things stop and go simply according to this higher energy that's attached to your connection, okay? So if you're wondering if your person knows who you are or if they're tapped into the spiritual essence of your connection, they definitely are. And instead of seeing themselves as separate from you, they now kind of see you as a unit, okay? They see you as a team, even through the distance. And this is something that they may still need time to digest, okay? I definitely feel like this is something that's happening in the 5D. So if you feel your person's energy like super strong at this time, it's because there's definitely a spiritual merge that's happening behind the scenes. And this is really building up the momentum because this is someone who definitely feels like when it comes to the timing, they really don't have control. They've really surrendered in a sense to what's about to happen but based upon the energy that you both feel i feel like it's very very intense there could be very high levels of anticipation at this time around this masculine around this connection around this time of year i just got that clearly where your souls are kind of like pulling towards one another you both can feel this in a very real way your person is really kind of pausing and thinking about how this is going to play out for them. Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is, your energy triggers me. <laughs> yeah. So I feel a dual energy coming through with this part here, okay? So if you both were to be completely honest, about where you are right now mentally and emotionally this is how you both feel you may feel extremely triggered by where you are by the emotions that are arising at this time but this is definitely a natural part of the journey i'm not picking up on heavy energy with this card here so the kind of triggering that you're experiencing is kind of healing you both on a much deeper level so if you're wondering how your person is feeling about you, how they are currently viewing you, they want you to know that you have become the trigger, okay? Um, you will be surprised how literally everything you do 
has a direct effect on your masculine. And these feelings may even be intensified now that they know what they know about you. I'm also getting something here about a clean slate. So everything in their world may feel new in some way, but this is just an indication that they've undergone a massive awakening. And this is just one of many on this journey. It's almost as if you both are away from each other, but your energetic bond is becoming much stronger. This kind of energetic cord or this link that's holding you together is becoming more clear. So a lot of the energies, a lot of your emotions are really surfacing, okay? It's like they're, they're beginning to look at this and look at you and this connection as so much deeper than a relationship. So even though the separation has kind of been a little triggering for your person, this had to hit their emotional body in order for them to come into this truth about you. I feel like this is also highlighting that this is a natural reaction to finding out the truth about what the twin flame journey is energetically. It's also important to point out that this doesn't make the connection easier once you come into this awareness. It really heightens it for the masculine energy. And in a way, things that didn't use to phase them all of a sudden begin to trigger them. So things like just being in your presence, hearing your voice, okay? It's like the minute your masculine heart opens, it means that they have actualized a part of their soul. And because you are the feminine counterpart, you essentially become the trigger for them. And this is not in a bad way at all. It just means that they have become extremely sensitive to your energy, Divine Feminine. And this is definitely having a direct effect on where you are currently in your heart space and also where you are currently on your journey. Let's get the last message here. Wow. The last message we have here is God chose you. Wow, very powerful energy. I feel like this is another thing that your masculine wants you to know that they know about you. They know that God chose you, okay? And they know this because it literally feels like you were handpicked for them. The way this all happened still shocks them in a way. I'm also getting destiny very clearly. So this is also about their destiny, okay? Or they feel like it is. They feel like this is a connection that's in alignment with their highest version. And part of the reason why this masculine chooses to live their life in this very specific way is because they know that they're here for a higher purpose. So they are extremely cautious about the people they let close to them. But your energy works very, very well with them, Divine Feminine. They feel really calm with you. It's almost as if they know that you belong to them in a sense, but they had to make sure. And even though they're taking the time to figure out their next move, they definitely want you to know that they are aware of what you represent in their life. This is a masculine that really feels like they need you, okay? And the fact that you both aligned in the way that you did is very, very unlikely for them. So this is something that is really raising a lot of questions I'm getting in both of your minds because a lot of it doesn't make sense. But this is really giving you a higher perspective of the purpose of your connection. And it's changing not only the timeline that you're on, but also your destiny in some way, okay? I feel like this is about having the divine feminine and divine masculine aspect of the soul aligned in the flesh and the power that you both emanate together, okay? So there's something very powerful happening in the spiritual realm, but there's something powerful coming in the physical realm as well, okay? Because I keep getting something here about alignment. So things are gonna come together when you least expect it, but the timing will be perfect, okay? So it's almost as if you both are being called to see your connection in a different way, to see it as something that's sacred and something that is divinely guided because every single thing that's about to happen, that's about to take place, is going to be divinely orchestrated. 
So be mindful of that and also trust your intuition at this time, okay? Because it's very, very powerful. The link that you both have is very strong at this time. I'm getting a lot of downloads, a lot of emotional expression coming through very, very raw. So you may be picking up on high vibrational thoughts. Sometimes you may be able to tap into low vibrational thoughts, but the channel is very, very clear right now, okay? So definitely pay attention to that because I feel like it's gonna be very active and it will most likely be your guidance system while all of this is happening behind the scenes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.